Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, we're going to be doing another E to Interact video, because at this point, it's kind of became a little series of mine. Uh, but today, we're going to be doing how to press, uh, how to make a press E to enter a car uh, thingy, because that's pretty useful for most things today. And before we start, make sure you have Explore and Properties open, which is under the View tab because we will need to use them. So the first thing you want to do is make a car. Uh, so if you want to know how to make a car, you can click somewhere on the top right corner. Uh, if you're part of the early squad to my YouTube channel, uh, it might not be there yet, but I'm planning to do that next week. It will be on the top right uh, corner of the screen. It will also be in the description below. Um, but I haven't made that video yet. So I'm just gonna go get a car first. So, for example, a Jeep. So I'll just take this Jeep. And there you go, we got a nice Jeep. Now the next thing you wanna do is after you've made your car, you wanna put in a seat. And when you're making a car, you basically already have the driver's seat. And inside the driver's seat, you wanna click the plus and enter in a proximity prompt. And then you can rename the proximity prompt to E, E to enter. And then under the proximity prompt, you can add in a script. So the first thing we're going to do is click on the proximity prompt. You go into the properties. And this is where we're going to uh, customize it. So for the action text, we're going to write enter. And then uh, over here. This is for Xbox, you can change it to which button you want the Xbox players to choose. And then we're going to make it so that it's going to hold, like you need to hold E for 2 seconds. And then this is what they're going to be holding, so E, it could be R or D or F. But I'm just going to keep my E. And then this is how far um, you want the player to get into the car. So 10 is kind of a lot, but I'll just keep it at 10 for now. And then object text, we're going to write the uh, object. So my object is a Jeep, so I'm going to write Jeep. But your object might be a car or a truck, so you can write a car or a truck. And that's all we're going to be doing over here. Next thing we're going to do is go into a script, and we're going to start scripting the proximity prompt. So just write what I write. So I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see better. So local uh proximity prompt equals to script dot parent and then local seat equals to script dot parent dot parent because uh, the script is under the proximity prompt which is under the seat so just make sure that these things are under the seat and then we can write seat colon get property change signal. So this is what we're going to use to check if there's a player on top of the seat. So occupant uh, key and then colon connect and then function just like that. And then we're going to have the little brackets, just like that. Make sure it's just this, and not more brackets. And then we're going to go down the line. And then if seat dot oh, seat dot occupant, then so if uh, so if the there's somebody on the seat. Then proximity prompt dot enabled equals to false, which means no one else can get on the seat. And then we're going to go down the line and write else. And then proximity prompt dot enable equals to true. So if there's no one on the seat, then uh, we'll, like if you press E, you'll be able to go on the seat. Okay, so then go down two lines and then write proximity prompt dot triggered con connect function and we're gonna write player 
So what this means is when they do trigger it, we're gonna write C colon sit because we want the player to sit inside uh, the seat. So player dot character dot humanoid. So we're gonna sit the player's character humanoid. So we're gonna sit the humanoid. And that should be the script. So now that we have the script in there, uh, we can go test it out. So I just loaded in and the cars are here. As you can see, when I get kind of close to it, it says Jeep and then it says enter, press E. I'm gonna press E for two seconds. And you can see I'm currently on the Jeep. And to get out, all you need to do is press jump. And then you can see it's back there again. So if we press E, we'll be back on the car. And as soon as we're on it, you can see that the proximity prompt is now gone. And to get out, it's back there again. So yeah, it works really well. So that'll be it for this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And tell me if you guys want any more E to interact tutorials. Leave them down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!